Hi guys, welcome to Back to Our Roots Homestead. Hope everyone's week is off to a great start. Before I tell you what we're up to in this edition, we definitely wanna take this time to wish everyone a very happy Merry Christmas. But today on this episode, we finally got the brooder finish. So come on back. Used to the city, now we got our own land. Life's getting real busy, busy. None of it was ever planned. Got the crib looking pretty, pretty. With a garden full of plants, plants. And we built our own committee yeah. From the bottom we advance yeah. Back to our roots. roots Now we get back to our roots yeah. Put on your boots Put them on. It's time to go take off your suit so. Back to our roots yeah. Yeah. Now we get back to our roots yeah. Put on your boots It's time to find with Cheryl Swoops Right now Right now Yeah Yeah Right now Right now All right, guys, we are in the shed today. Today we're gonna build, be building our brooder. Um, for you that, for you, for those of you who might not know, a brooder is just a when you get baby chicks, it's a place that you put them uh, where you, they got food and water, usually a heat lamp, and you keep them there until they get their feathers and that they can go out into the grass. Um, but so today we're gonna be building our brooder. Uh, Earl's come up with a great design, so I'm gonna let him tell you um, the design and the measurements and everything. All right, guys, this is going to be a real simple design uh, for this brooder. It's going to basically, I'm cutting the legs right now, so it's basically going to be uh, right at about 39 inches tall. And uh, it's going to be actually two feet deep. That'll be the brooder part where the birds will be. And uh, we're going to do things the BTO our way. Everything we build, we put on casters, so it's very easy to move around. And uh, once we get these legs cut, We'll come back and we'll show you how we want to assemble them. Okay, now that we've got the legs cut, we're going to use a Craig, uh, a Craig kit. For the legs. To actually uh, assemble them together. What, what this, basically what this is, is just a kit to uh, allow you to drill holes in your wood, pocket holes, called pocket holes, where you don't see the holes, don't see anything. So it just makes for a clean installation. It's basically a clamp. This jig is adjustable, and it comes with a drill bit. Everything you need comes in it. Well, you just take that clip, put it together. I've already got all my reference lines drawn on the wood where I'm going to be drilling the pocket holes. Just gonna put this grid on it. Be ready to drill. Clean hole drill in there. We'll come in, we'll do three, three more. There's two, uh, two pieces to each, uh, each leg, so we got four legs. So all I'm doing is just got to do these holes in four pieces of wood, which is already here, and then we'll come back and we'll put them together. Okay, we're back. We've got all the holes drilled. Now we're about to assemble the legs. Basically, just going to be shaped like a letter, letter L. Going to my pocket hole that I've drilled. Simply put them together. All right, one leg down, three to go. All right, guys, we'll get the other three legs back. 
and we'll come back to you when we move on to the next part. Okay, so we're back now. What we're about to do is uh, I've cut some uh, piece of a uh, five inch, uh, just uh, just regular uh, common board, and five inches all in, all it's for just uh, for a base go on the bottom of the legs, so we can attach these casters to it. So I've already pre-drilled this one. Using one and five eighth inch wood screws. Just gonna attach it. Pre-drill in the hole. Okay, all four of them are done. As you can see, the legs is he, he built them like a like a V shape, and then that's the bottom. So all four legs are done. So the next step, I guess, is framing. And then once we get the frame, we'll put the casters on. It'll go pretty fast. Okay, so now we're getting ready for the framework. Uh, what we're doing, we've cut uh, two pieces. One, uh, we've got, we're gonna need a uh, force, basically, what do we do, six foot? Yeah. Six foot pieces, and the other one just shy of four feet. I have to get the exact measurements here in just a minute. Using a corner clamp, hold the piece together. All we're going to do is just uh, screw those together. This will be the basic framework. We'll attach this framework to the uh, to the legs. You'll basically start to come. You'll see it come to start coming to shape. And uh, once we get this done, we'll come back and show you how we're going to attach it. Yeah. And so the the uh, brooder will be six feet by four feet, basically. All right, we're back now, gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got, here's the basic uh, shape of the framework, basic framework. Got it all done, it's nothing but uh, made out of one by four common board. And uh, we've got the basic shape already done, and we'll be attaching legs to it. And it will all start to come together. Okay, got the bottom part of the framework all in. Look like a king size bed, brother. <laughs> You see it's starting to take shape and we're going to come in and put the top part of the framework in with these two by twos. And be equally flush with the top. Same thing all the way around. And then we'll be ready to put the floor in. Alright, we're back. So what you're looking at now is basically a frame with a couple of support pieces in the middle. And we've already got the floor cut to size, so we're going to be putting that in next. And basically, the whole idea was took two uh, pieces of two by twos and put them in the middle for some support. Matter of fact, while we're shooting, let me uh, show you how this floor is basically going to sit in here. Yeah, that's perfect. There's a the floor. Yeah, that's plenty of room for the chicken. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got some new shoes on. <laughs> some Air Jordan. <laughs> 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 that's what it's going to look like, and that make it real simple to move around. Yeah, and what that allows us to do is we can keep the chickens in here. But we can also roll them outside sometimes during the day if it's a nice day. 
um, so that they can get used to being outside a little bit too. So uh, it just it allows us to to do everything, move the chickens, and then another thing is when we're not using it, we can just push it over out of the way into the corner. So it, it's easy to move. It won't get much heavier than that. All we got to do now is put the uh, frame in the top and then put the uh, wire. Was that wire mesh? I think that's what it's called. Yeah, on it. So. We're gonna get the top uh, framed in, and we'll be back. Best thing to, to use While we out here uh, building the brooder, we watching AT live. And it's very easy. Sunday night. And it's very easy to take care. And she growing wine in her window seal. Yeah. <laughs> Grow that wine, AT. <laughs> Finishing up the top part of the frame. All right, people, we're back. Got the top frame put on. And what we've done is come in and put the one by four down on the bottom. And one by fours on the sides. They're not screwed in yet, but this is gonna be roughly what it's gonna look like. These one by fours. Make sure you go screwed in there. Two on each corner. And what that will do, that will give us an uh, area we're going to need to actually come back and put the, uh, the wire mesh on it. And once we get that cut to size, get these screwed in, we'll cut that to size, get it put on, we'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so we're back. What we're about to do now is cut the uh, hardware cloth to size. This is basically uh, four, feet in, uh, four feet in width. So what we're doing is cutting it in half down to two feet and just one piece will give us what we need for both sides. So we've already got the, uh, the longer size cut for the box and uh, once we get this piece cut then we'll come in and start uh, uh, attaching to the frame. And these are essentially the walls, right? The, you'll be able to see through these, you'll be able to see the chicken through, these, uh, through this mesh. Been a few days we've been out here, we've been a little busy, but we finishing up the brooder. All right. All right, so what we've done here, we're gonna make uh, two doors, two separate doors gonna open on the top. All we're doing is making those out of one by fours. And uh, we put some, uh, came in, put some 45 degree cuts on all of them, as you can see here. And I'll be joining them together so that they will open separately. So you can open, come, basically you have the option to come in and open one door and you know, while the other one stays shut. And uh, then we'll come in, we'll uh, put, put the uh, hardware cloth across it and hinge it in the back and uh, we'll show you what it looks like. All right, so what we're looking at here, we've got both doors already cut. You can see they're both laid up here. This is basically what they're going to look like. And kind of with just something simple. This is going to be the centerpiece that will be permanently mounted. And both doors will be hinged so you can come and lift up either door. And once we get it all put together, 
Come back, show me what it looks like. So you're putting the hard work cloths on, just want to make sure you get it all straight as you can. And pull it where it's a little top. And then put your stuff in. The straighter you get it, the better it looks. jumped up here and he needed, he needed a little extra help. <laughs> Maybe because he carried a few extra pants. Hi boogers. Hi babies. Yeah, it look good. It's framed. Finished door. Yeah, it's framed good. Last thing left to do is the hinge. Okay, what we're doing now is putting just putting a little simple little latch on it on the side. That way it stays latched and no accidental opens. It all stops like any animal or anything for pushing it, um, pushing it open and getting in. So this is the final part of it. Get the latches in, put a lock on there, and it's done. All right, guys, that is all we have for today. We appreciate everybody tuning in. We appreciate all of the support. Um, I'm gonna just let Earl kind of show you all the finished product all right she's all done doors are on everything hinged on the wheels you see very versatile easy to move we got the doors done the latch on it into the middle that's the way it opens up pretty cool and guys what i'll do in here is i'm going to put down some um, some seal uh, down here to seal this wood and then I'm gonna go to the store and find some linoleum we'll put linoleum down and then we'll put the wood chips on it and then we can just clean it out um, in here we'll have of course uh, water feed and heat lamps but the most part and we, me and my wife are thinking about staining it but we'll decide that over the next few days but we're ready to get our chickens now yeah that's it this is it guys we appreciate everybody um tuning in thank you for all the support if you haven't subscribed please subscribe hope everyone has an incredible week like always guys everybody please stay safe stay blessed stay healthy we'll see you next time from back to our roots homestead deuce see you on the other <laughs> side guys I know. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Back to our roots, back to our roots. Back to our roots, back to our roots.